Oh no! Wait a minute. Something's pushing me up from below. What's going on? I'm on a sort of massive moving island. Oh. It's not an island, but it is massive. It's a blue whale! Woohoo! Blue whales don't have to worry about predators. They can weigh well over a hundred tons, as much as 30 African elephants. Whoa! It's another one. It's just come up to the surface for air. Whales breathe through holes on the top of their heads, and that's why they're called blowholes. Whoa! So I better hurry up and get that photo I need. That's no good, I'm too close. No wonder Mr. Hammond had problems taking his photo. Blue whales are so big, you need to be a long way away to fit them all in. Hang on a minute. Ha ha! Selfie stick. Perfect. Right, let's try again, shall we? Oh. This is still not working. I need to be way, way up there to get a decent photo. If only I had a jet pack as well as an aqua pack. <laughs> One more big breath out, please. Managed to get a great photo of a blue whale. I'm sending it to you now. Well done. I'm sending the safari sub to you. I managed to get it working again. Fantastic. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the lift, blue whale. Hey, it found one. Oh, uh, bad luck, fishy. It's tricky to dig when you have flippers instead of hands. The dolphins are doing a great job with their snouts. They're certainly stirring up the sand, but not enough to make the circles we saw on the drone. There must be something else here causing them. I don't think I'm ever going to solve the mystery at this rate. I wonder where they're off to. Perhaps they'll lead me to whatever it is making the mysterious circles. Wait for me. Well, I've followed the dolphins to the surface, but I wonder why they've led me here. Oh, what was that? Ow! Ah! Stop it! What's going on? This is the strangest thing I've ever seen! Oh. Well, the fish seem to be jumping out of the water straight into the dolphins' mouths. Why would they do that? No, I really have seen it all. Hey, it's Jen. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jen. Uh, yes, strangest thing. I'm floating in the middle of a pod of dolphins and fish are jumping out of the water straight into their mouths. That's fascinating. But are you any closer to finding the cause of those mysterious circles? No, Jen, sorry. I got a bit distracted following the dolphins. According to my scans, you're right beneath the camera drone that spotted them. Oh, yes, there it is. 
If you look on the camera, you should be able to see me, Jen. Hi, Jen! Joey! Hi, Andy! Anyway, like I said, there's no sign of the mysterious circles anywhere. Yes, there is, Andy. You're right in the middle of them. What? Really? All I can see are dolphins and flying fish. Woohoo! Good catch! Dolphins are creating the mysterious circles. I couldn't see them on camera earlier, as they must have gone underwater. But it's really obvious now. Really? Oh, brilliant! Well, I've made it to the lake. I can't see any eggshells, though. But I can see a caiman. In fact, there are lots of them. Surely they can't all belong to her. Ah, oh, I see. A mother caiman runs a kind of nursery where she looks after all the other mother's babies whilst they go off to feed. How clever. It looks like she's got her work cut out. Right, I need to find an eggshell. All I can see is that hungry egret, though. An egret? Egrets eat baby caiman. Oh, no. Oh, and there are still some there on the bank. Quick, get into the water. Little ones. Yes, they'll be okay in there with their babysitter. Even so, with this many egrets and predators around, it's not a safe place to be. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like she's on the move. And the babies are going with her. She must be leading them to a safer lake. And maybe there'll be a caiman nest there. I know. I'll follow them, but I better shrink down first. I don't want to scare them. To the size of a baby caiman. Perfect. It's not easy walking through all this grass when you're this small. Slow down a bit. We're struggling to keep up. I'd better do something to stop her before we lose sight of her altogether. Um, my backpack. It's always full of useful things. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Opening dive chamber. Mask check. Prepare for launch. Inject. A minute. It looks like there's something swimming around up on the surface. Could it be a chin strap penguin? Only one way to find out. It is! Yes! <laughs> and you can see why it's called a chin strap. Look at that black line under its chin. Maybe he can lead me to a penguin nesting ground. Oh no. It looks like the poor thing is struggling in the broken ice. He needs to get out into the open water where he can swim properly. Wait a second. Is that... <gasps> it's a leopard seal! And they eat penguins! Quick, little buddy! We've got to get out of here! <sighs> Almost there! Look! Come on! 
We'll be safe with the rest of the penguins. Dive down under the ice. It'll be quicker. That's it. Yes, he's found his friends. So long, Leopard Seal. I made it. Hmm. Can't see any chicks around here, though. Ah. It says here they nest at the top of the cliff. Safe from the rough seas and those pesky leopard seals. Oh, well. I've got a bit of a climb ahead of me. Uploading adventure gear. <sighs> Great. Let's go. These penguins are incredible. They're using their wings, claws, and even beaks to get to the top and back to feed their chicks. Not so easy for me, though. All this mud is making it very... Slippery! If at first you don't succeed, try! Try? Again! Oh, at last, I've made it! Look, I found a damsel fly! Now I just need to find out where they lay their eggs. Oh, but this guy can't help me. He's male. Ooh. Where's he off to? Another male has come into his territory. Oh, male damselflies don't get on. Calm down, you two. Come on, play nicely. They fight like this to get the attention of a female damselfly. Like her. Hmm. Maybe she can help me. It says here on my gizmo that this damselfly is pregnant. So if I stay with her, I'll be able to find out where she lays her eggs. Do you mind if I tag along? This is amazing! Uh-oh. Frogs. We wouldn't want to get too close to those. They love to eat damselflies. What? Uh, no, 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 wait. But I don't fancy doing that again anytime soon. <laughs> What on earth is she doing now? It looks like she's about to head underwater. Well, that's strange. Oh, well, there's only one thing for it. Upload sub-aqua gear. Great, let's go. I've got a mask and an aqua pack to help me. Hmm, let's see. It says here that her wings trap a layer of air, and that's what helps her breathe. Ingenious! Huh? Now what's she doing? This is one of the strangest adventures I've ever had. Oh, I see. She's cut a hole in that stem and laid her eggs. They'll be nice and safe in there until they hatch. Amazing. I hope this works. To the size of... To the size of a flamingo. Ah, that's better. 
Time to get wet. Ooh. Ah, oh, there's plenty of flamingos here. And it's not too deep either, which makes it the perfect place for me to do my painting. Easel. Canvas. Paintbrush and palette. And paint. Pink. So that's where it got to. Ready. Oh, um, excuse me. Would you mind standing still for a second? They're performing a courtship dance. This is how flamingos find their perfect partner. Dances like these can go on all day long, so I'm just going to have to try and paint them as they pass. <laughs> Finished. Hopefully Mr Hammond won't notice the difference. Right, I'll let this lot finish their dance while I pack this away. Okay, now I need to get back to Safari World. Jen! Hi Andy, have you finished the painting? Yep, all done. Great, I'll send the Safari Mobile to pick you up. Thanks Jen. And I need to get back to normal size. Uh, uh, hurry up! That was close. See you later, flamingos. Time to head back. <laughs> Fun. Right, now I just need to find a sea lion covered in flies and I should get to see how they deal with them. Um, I can't see any flies around here and I don't want to scare all these pups, so to the size of a sea lion pup. Great! Oh, I think I'll come back for that later. <laughs> One. Any flies on you? <sighs> nope. Hmm, let me see. Ah. Aha! I spy flies. This is more like it. It's a female. And she's covered in flies. Hopefully, she can give me the answer I'm looking for. Shaking her head doesn't seem to work. As soon as she shakes them off, they just fly back again. Oh, hello. I've not seen one of these guys before. It's a lizard of some kind. It says here it's a lava lizard. Great name. Oh, it seems to be coming closer. Uh, can we help you? Uh, now, I don't think that's very kind, crawling all over my friend here while she's trying to sleep. And you. Although, 
she doesn't seem to mind. Oh, I see. The larva lizards are catching the flies that land on the sea lion. They get a tasty meal, and the sea lions get rid of those annoying flies. Great teamwork. Oh, good catch. Finally, I have my answer. <sighs> right, now I just need to get back across the river. It'll take me a long time to swim across when I'm this small. Whoa! What was that? Oh, it's a basilisk lizard. Well, we've got these back at Safari World. They're also known as Jesus Christ lizards, because they can run on water. Hmm, I wonder. Um, excuse me. Can I grab a... Oh, 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 this is amazing! Ah. The basilisk lizard is so light and so fast that he just bounces across the water. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this is my stop! Stop! Thanks, my lizard friend. Look who it is. Oh, yes, it's the glass frog. Oh, so hopefully there should be some eggs around here somewhere. All I can see is a hungry cricket. Hungry cricket? Uh-oh. That male glass frog is so small, the cricket could eat him. Jump away, buddy. He's looking straight at you. Why isn't he jumping? Hang on a minute. Of course. It's a glass frog, remember? It doesn't need to jump. Their see-through skin is the perfect camouflage. Look, the cricket hasn't even noticed him. Oh, brilliant. Oh, right. Now to find those eggs. But to do that, I need to follow that frog. Uh, wait for me! <laughs> oh, he's off again. Glass frogs are amazing. They can even hold on upside down using their special sticky feet. Hang on. Yes! It's frog spawn. Oh, brilliant. I can see some lights up ahead. That must be the island. I'm going in. Good luck, Andy. Right. I need to find those baby turtles and turn them around quick. Come on. A camera. This must be one of the cameras sending a live video feed to Mr. Hammond. I'd better be careful. If he sees me on his TV, I'm going to have a hard time explaining why I'm suddenly in Barbados. I know. I'll shrink down. That way I can slip past the cameras without being spotted. To the size of a baby hawksbill turtle. Perfect. Let's go. Wow. Look at this lot go. A female hawksbill turtle will lay about 140 eggs in a single clutch. And they all hatch around about the same time. Strength in numbers can help them survive. None of them will survive if they can't make it to the sea. I need to find out why they're heading in the wrong direction. A town! That's where they're all heading. But 
Why would a turtle want a night out in the town? Not as if they can go shopping or have something to eat at a restaurant. For a turtle, a town is just a big bunch of bright lights. Wait a second. Bright lights, that's it! Jen, I know why the turtles are heading in the wrong direction. Why, Andy? Well, Mr Hammond says that baby turtles will follow the light of the moon on the water to find the sea. But here on this beach, the lights of the town are much brighter than the moon, and it's confusing the hatchlings and sending them the wrong way. Well, we can't just turn off all the lights in an entire town. That would be dangerous for the people who live there. I need some time to find an answer. OK, Jen. And whilst you're doing that, I better try and keep these turtles safe. Huh? Hey! Wait up! You're going the wrong way! The sea's that way! Time to go on an aquatic adventure! Waistcoat, hat, backpack, gizmo! Check! Coordinates set. Switching to flight mode. Boosters ready. Whoa! Next stop, Japan! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I made it! According to my readout, you're flying along the coast of southern Japan. Great! Now I just need to find the mud skippers and borrow some of their mud. My scanners say there's a huge mud bank just below you. If you're going to find any mud skippers, it'll be down there, Andy. In which case, I'm going in for a closer look. It really is muddy around here. Hmm, not the sort of place I'd like to live, but perfect for mudskippers. Now, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Oh, oh, it's a fiddler crab. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, a mudskipper. At least I know I'm in the right place. Hmm, the only thing is, how do I know that this is the type of mud that mudskippers like to build their egg chambers in? There's only one way to know for certain, and that's to find an egg chamber. But I don't really want to be clomping around in these big boots. I might tread on someone. So, to the size of a mudskipper. Ah, that's better. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this lot! Unlike most fish, mudskippers can survive out of the water for up to two days. They're all out searching for food. And these muddy banks are filled with tiny plants and animals that they love to eat. Hello! Ooh! Excuse you! Their eyes are on top of their heads, so they can easily see in front or behind them. Very handy when looking out for predators. But I'm supposed to be looking out for an egg chamber, which means I need to find the entrance to a mudskipper burrow. And still no sign of any pygmy geckos. Oh, hello. <laughs> a pygmy gecko. And it looks like he's doing OK. Oh, well, that's a relief. Saying that, it is dry. Ah, I spoke too soon. Well, at least I get to find out how he deals with flood water. Huh? Where's he gone? There he is. This place is going to be flooded soon. There you are. How are you coping in all this rain? 
I'm surprised I've managed to stay this dry. <laughs> Great. Oh, how strange. It looks like the rain's just bouncing off him. Hmm. I wonder if my gizmo can tell me what's going on. Activate scanner. Ah, it says here that the gecko's skin is hydrophobic, which means it's waterproof. Oh, how cool is that? Well, no. Not that way, little buddy. You've gone straight into the flood water. Don't worry, I'm coming to rescue you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Huh? He's floating. His skin must be so waterproof and he's so light that he can just stand on the surface of the water. So that's how pygmy geckos survived the floods. I can't wait to tell Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, the Amazon dome is about to flood. How can we help the pygmy geckos? Don't worry. They can help themselves. But how? They have special waterproof skin which protects them from the rain. And they're so light, they can float on water. So they'll be absolutely fine when the Amazon dome floods. That's great news, Andy. But you better hurry back. Sending the safari mobile to your coordinates. Thanks, Jen. See you later, Pygmy Gecko. Thanks for your help. Back to normal size. It's the perfect chance for me to get the gizmo back. Yes. Now I can get my photo. Ah, the octopus has gone away. But where has the sarcastic fringe head got to? Oh, I've been spotted. Quick. I'd better hide in this old shell. <sighs> the fringe head won't find me in here. Fringe heads like to live in empty shells. I'm completely stuck. What am I going to do? Maybe Jen can help. Uh, Jen, I found a fringe head. Brilliant. Can you send me a photo then? Uh, well, I'm certainly close enough to take a picture, but I'm not sure that this is the angle Mr. Hammond had in mind. Well, what do you mean? I'm stuck behind it inside an old shell. It doesn't know I'm here, but any ideas how I can escape? Hmm. Mr. Hammond's book said sarcastic fringe heads were very territorial, so they'll fight off anything that comes near their home. That's true, Jen. I've already seen it chase off an octopus. Well, my scans say there's another animal approaching your location now, so I'm guessing the fringe head will leave any moment now to chase it away. Oh! Ah, you're right! This is my chance to go and get that photo. Thanks, Andy out. Right, let's go. Wonder which poor animal has attracted the fringe head's attention now. Uh-oh, it's another male sarcastic fringe head. And two males in the same territory spells trouble. They're pulling faces to make themselves look scary. What a funny way to settle an argument. It's more like kissing than fighting. Oh, oh that saw him off. Hopefully now I can finally get my photo. Say cheese. Right, I think it's time I got out of here. See you later, sarcastic fringe head. Ooh. Opening sub hatch door. Time to get wet. Opening dive chamber. Mask, 
Check. Prepare for launch. Eject! <laughs> this elaborate courtship dance when the female is ready to produce eggs. Oh, I never thought I'd get to see this. I'd better keep my distance, though. Those black and white stripes may look pretty, but they're also a warning. Sea crates are highly venomous. A bite from one could make you feel really ill. Great, they split up. Now's my chance to follow the female. Hopefully, she'll lead me to the place where she lays her eggs. Yes! She's heading for the island! Hey? She's not going up onto the island. She's going underneath it. Oh, down we go again! She seems to be heading into this cave. Ooh, it's very dark down here. It'd be easy to get lost. Luckily, the sea crate seems to know where she's going. I wonder why she's let me here. Could this be the place where she lays her eggs? Oh, there she is. I need to follow her and see for myself. Hmm. The only problem is, I'm far too big to follow her through those passageways. I'm gonna need to shrink down. To the size of a sea crate. Come on! Andy? <gasps> Andy! Are you okay? I lost contact. I'm okay, thanks, Jen. There was a big storm, but it seems to be over now. Huh? Where have the seals gone? They're over by the ice hole. I can see them on the webcam. Oh, yes! There's Mum! It looks like she's giving her pup his first ever swimming lesson. Oh. Oh, he doesn't seem too sure about it. Hmm. Maybe I can help. Over here, buddy. It's time to go swimming. Follow me. In you come. The water's lovely. No time to look cute. You need to get wet. Your mum's waiting. Come on. Yes, you did it. It'll take him several weeks to learn how to swim and catch fish. But mum will stay with him every step of the way until he's ready to look after himself. See you later, Weddle Seals. Happy fishing! Right, time to get me back to normal size. Open sub hatch. Engage boosters. Time to head back. Safari Weld Uniform. Great! Oh, 
Hello, Mr. Hammond. Oh, Handy, there you are. I've got some wonderful news. My Weddell Seal webcam's working again. And look, Jen's playing back the footage of the little pup learning to swim for the first time. Oh, um, Mr. Hammond, have I ever shown you my impression of a Weddell Seal pup before? No, I, I don't believe you have. Very good, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Jen. Do you think you can use your computer to pick out some wood duck calls for me? Of course. Scanning sound wave now. According to this, there are two wood ducks calling a hundred meters to your right. Great. Thanks, Jen. Okay, wood ducks, here I come. Wow, it's a wood duck chick. Oh, and it seems to be stuck up a tree just like the ones at Safari World. There's Mum calling for her chick. Right. I need to get up there and find out what's going on. Oh, there's Dad. Don't mind me. Oh. Hello. I'm Andy. Now. What are you doing up here? Huh? Wait a minute. Uh, Eggshells? Of course! The ducklings aren't stuck up in the tree. This is their nest. Oh. oh. I'll pop that back. <sighs> oh. Oh. Mum must lay her eggs in there, and then the chicks hatch out. In a forest full of alligators and snakes, this is the perfect place to keep your little ones safe. But this little one and his brothers and sisters are big enough to leave the nest now. Oh, there's Mum waiting. But how are they going to get down? Oh, careful, buddy. You're a bit close to the edge. It's a long way. Down. Phew! He made it! The ducklings are so light that falling all that way doesn't even hurt them. The rest of the ducklings don't look too sure, though. Maybe they need some encouragement. Come on, you lot! Follow me! It's your turn. Ready, steady, go! Yes! Man, it's a funny adventure.